动弄爱。Old eagle in the sky。Old eagle in the sky。Back out again over Patterdale area. This is about the fourth week in a row I've been over here. And this week, I was originally going to do a solo camp because all my friends are like soft. <laughs> nah, they're all busy. But I was approached by this gentleman. Now then, <laughs> here we are. Look at this. Me and Ward all out for it. Eventually. And I've already started on the beer, we've under had, his influence. We've had about six pints, <laughs> and then we drove all the way here, crashed into a few walls, that was about it. Nothing serious. <laughs> Just normal for us, mate, normal. <laughs> By the way, I've made that bit up. Just <laughs> it was eight pints. <laughs> it was nine. <laughs> yeah. So we're heading off this way. You might notice somebody's missing. Where is he? Poor oh, lad. Poor oh. oh, lad. What? He had a limp, so I didn't bring him. Only reason I, I came. He... I know exactly that. I'm <laughs> sorry, mate. I'm sorry. People will be raging. <laughs> anyway, we're going to... Uh... Well, we're not sure where we're going, really. We're Into just... the white. Yeah, we're going to head up. I mean, look at that. That's High Street, isn't it? Looks mental. Right, we're going up that way anyway. I think it's that one there, right in front of us. Pretty sure it's. We'll see what happens. Well, we've gained quite a bit of height already. Come from down there. We are going up there. It's a path of death, that. Crags. Alan Crags, actually. Alan Crags. Spelt my way as well. So what's the odds? I know. <laughs> but we're losing the light, that's a problem. A little bit of colour in the sky though, look at that. Mmm, little sun, sunset. We might be lucky. Problem is Alan's just not very fit. So I'm he's, struggling. He's holding us up like, I'm lagging, I'm having to wait for him. <laughs> That's High Street. All the way along there, all in the white. We should have went up High Street. But listen to that. There's no wind. Forecast was really windy. Mm. So here we are on the path. Terra. Might have to get spikes on actually. We're going up there. It's taking us into a world of hurt. I don't disagree. <laughs> it is steep. It is steep. Come from down there. All the way up there to the snow line. And then we've got to cut through these crags. Zigzag through them. And then it's just up under the up under the fell. I don't think it's too far. We'll press on. Soft snow, so spikes not necessary just now. It's not icy. That's all right. If you're a novice, though, I would suggest putting spikes on. For your security. But if you're an expert like me, oh! <laughs> that might have been staged. So look at some of the views here. This is Ulls Water. 
the back of there. I think, I think that's Halland Fell there in the, in the little cloud hat on. Sure it is. Halland Fell, one of the best views you'll get for such a short hill. Amazing. Suffering? I am, I can't keep up mate, I'm well, struggling. You know, you should, you, should train, beer. you should train harder, stay off the beer. Obviously you can't hack it. <laughs> I'm gonna get hate for that, like. He's fitter than you! Your cat's fitter than me, man. <laughs> hey, you do all right. Oh, well. For well, the diesel engine, it just keeps going. That's consider I'm nearly 80. Yeah. To be fair, you only look about 70. <laughs> right. I feel about 90, though, that's the problem. <laughs> so this is the first cairn on the map. And then over there is Beater Head. See, I've never been up here. I'm sure it's Wainwright, this. So that's 99. Wainwright's ticked off. Oh, the magic hundred coming up. I'll have to get up one for a camp on the hundred. <sighs> I always say it, if I had continued ticking the Wainwrights off instead of keep going back to the same one, I would have probably done them all twice by now. Yeah, that's right. I just stopped, discovered the camping instead. We did about 70 Wainwrights in about four months. It was mad every weekend I even used to go up through the week oh that's when i could get time off work literally a walk in the park for you mate well it was at the time yeah. i don't know about now like oh, i'm getting a little bit of hill fitness back anyway we'll push on well so we're all set up beers blah 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 food blah 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 Just yeah, this. Right, the, right, the mat, the bag of plenty warmth. Al's just over there in his fjall raven. Is that what is it? An abyssal? What is that tent? You can't hear us. I think it's an abyssal. No, it's not an abyssal, is it? I don't know what it is. It's an, a fall raven. Leak up here, we're getting enveloped by the cloud. So I'm gonna go and sit in his tent because that's what I do. You might have seen that on many people's videos that I always end up inside their tents. So I'll come back in there. Too cold to film. Right then, so we've had a couple of beers, a bit of a chit chat. We've been talking for hours, like just talking about stuff that we did as kids and adventures and all the rest of it that we've had. Good, good crack. Nice little Christmas tree there. All light, all bulb Christmas tree. <laughs> I like it. I've left me mat over at Al's tent because I'm going back. So I'm on the foil mat, which is nice and warm. Such a good thing to have that in your tent, aren't you? You can really feel the difference. So I'm gonna get me, um, tea on. Now I've got, bear with us, Chinese style chicken stir fry kit, a trusty old brown pan stove and I managed to source some extreme gas. See that light is so bright isn't it? I can't dim it down, can I? A little bit, yeah. So I've got the extreme gas go outdoors in Sunderland, had it. I had to go to Sunderland. I had to have my jabs, everything. I've got some fry light. Always handy stuff. And some wrap, mini wraps. I'll get them. I just want to keep warm. I could get the stove on, it warms you up like a few beers out there. Oh, lad. Right, we'll come back when we're on it. Here we go, chicken's in. I'm get the veg in next. The Craig Charles on. It's blowing a keel out there, but very nice in here. I've got the door facing the right way, you see? So there's no wind coming in. Looking good.
definitely am doing me thing. Ah, oh, I've dropped it. Damn. <laughs> so we are in Al's tent. This is what I do, you see, I get in people's tents. I did tell you that. I do tell you that I get in people's tents. Have you had a good night? It's been awesome, mate. Absolutely awesome. Talk and shade for the last four or five hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a long night when it gets dark at like half four. Yeah. So yeah, chilling out in the tent, talking a load of cack. Absolutely rubbish. But it's been ace, absolutely ace, mate. We've called everybody. Everybody's <laughs> been called. That's a, that's a Geordie saying that, apparently. Calling everyone. <laughs> nah, anybody's been called. Well, plenty of people have been called. But only the right people who deserve to be called. <laughs> and if you're one of those people, unlucky. So, I'm gonna nip to my tent, and I'm gonna nip out into the bad weather, because it's horrendous, isn't it? It's chucking it down, I think. It's pretty windy, like, definitely. Oh, it's blowing a gale. And the tent's probably gone. And um, I haven't even drank my beer, you know. That was my last can. Uh, I've got two cans left. Have you finished it? Yeah. Ah, oh, sorry. That was the last, the last one I drank, and I finished that about an hour ago. So, drank. I've got two I'm cans. I'm this one that you gave me. Heaven, kind of heaven. Nice, isn't it? It's all right, yeah, it's like a pudding. I had one last week, it was beautiful. Nice, right, so uh, that's about it, really. Not much exciting going on. We'll see what tomorrow brings. We'll Some see snow, in, hopefully. We'll see you in the morning. A uh, big, thick, deep layer of snow to see what off. Cheers, guys. All right, morning camp at Heidi High and all that. Oh, it's freezing, freezing cold. Look at me, hat man. I'm good. I look like Fuzz Townsend. Anybody know how Fuzz Townsend? You guys, daft big hats out there. Right, eight o'clock. We're up and about. As you can see, it didn't really snow, which is a shame, but at the same time, it means it's not cold. <laughs> But seeing that, I've just recorded minus 9.7 a wind chill. And the wind was 31 mile an hour up on the top behind. And the deep degrees is two, minus 2 degrees outside. It's really chill. Slept all right, like, woke up a couple of times. Oh, Al's very kindly donated as a tea bag because I'm absolutely useless and disorganised. I've got everything but a tea bag. I didn't drink all my beer, look. Just got two cans left. They'll come out next week, them. Oh, next week is Christmas, so Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy New Year and all that. I'll be going to Scotland. I'm gonna go to Scotland. The last year I planned to go to Scotland and do this trip and I hurt my back, didn't I? So I couldn't go. I wasn't, I was gutted. Um, but I'm gonna go up this year, up to Fort William. I've booked the first night, Boxing Day. It's gonna be a nice luxury hotel. Treat myself. And then after that, we're gonna put ourselves in absolute misery. I'm meeting Sid, I think. He says he's coming, so we'll see. We'll do some camping. Hopefully get some good camping done. Nice snowy camps. Bit of adventure. So they'll be the next videos, but they'll be in the new year because I'll I'll be out until January. So I'll come back and get all them edited. So until then, well, I might come back when we're walking down because I think it's going to be a tricky path of death. Though. However, I do have my spikes. They can, they can help us get down the hill. I don't think you can buy them anymore. But they're handy. Everybody knows about the spikes. You just fit them on your boots. You just clip over it and any boot, any shoe, they'll have fit your shoes, anything. So you don't have to have specific boots. Right, get this on, get this cranked up. Just for the record, here's another one of my top tips. This is quite a serious one, actually. 
when you um, when you cook your tea, right? Take your stove and your gas apart. Whichever stove you use, take your gas and your stove apart and put your gas somewhere near the door. Obviously, your stove just goes wherever, but you keep your gas away from you and near the ventilation because that, if that's attached to your stove, it can leak out. Carbon monoxide poisoning can be deadly. So that's just that's just a safeguard. I mean, probably might never happen, but just in case, you know, because so they can have little leaks in them. Then, especially if you've got your stove attached. This wind's getting worse. By the way, right. so, had me tea anyway. Now I'm just packing away. So that's your tip. Keep your gas and your stove separate all the time until you want to use it. Right, well, we've dropped off the top because the wind just got too bad. It's 40 odd mile an hour. And we're heading down now. It's a path of obvious doom. With this lad, good camp with this lad. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, it's been awesome, mate. Excellent, so we'll Absolutely do we'll awesome. do another one like. Hopefully next time the dirt will be there. Need dog. But, uh, sorry about that. If he's Definitely not, bring him next time because uh, if he's not yeah, well, pointless meeting me in it really, mate. I know. I, was too boring. I nearly drove away. <laughs> I nearly turned around. Says nah, knee dog. That's it. Anyway, so go and check out his channel if you're not already subscribed. You probably are. Bushman and Blue, epic adventures. Bit crazy, but aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. We will see you in Scotland. <laughs>